Oh, good morning or evening as the case may be. This is Jay. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog where we're going to tie Bob Popovic's Jiggy Tungsten Jiggy Head Fly. How's that for a mouthful? Now you can tie this on all sorts of hooks. Uh, caveat here is this head will fit over the eye of some hooks but it will not fit over the eye of others. Uh, this in particular, I think, uh, needs to be uh, put on from the back of the hook. I think this is a small uh, tungsten jiggy head. The large one would fit uh, straight over the eye from the outside. Uh, it does make a difference in how you, uh, how you put this fly together. Now I'm putting on some lead wire there, not not so much to add um, to add weight to this fly. It has plenty of weight. These are heavy heads, but to provide a little bit of stability uh, to the head. <clears throat> and I'm not convinced this is. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced this is the best way to do it. What I will do sometimes, in addition to putting the lead uh, and sliding it up in there, is I will hold the hook uh, upright with the head down and put some uh, UV cure in there uh, to kind of provide a base uh, to, keep the, to keep the head steady. Now an interesting thing about these flies, I'm going to finish this fly with, uh, with bucktail natural material but you can of course use craft fur, polar flash, um, bait fish emulator, all sorts of materials. Uh, you could use brushes on these flies. The thing I had, <laughs> I, I tied up a bunch of these flies and um, what I didn't realize at first was that because these these heads are so heavy this, these aren't dumbbell eyes, but this hook will ride inverted. So if I want to have a, uh, a belly and a back, in other words, a light color and a dark, dark color for imitating a bait fish, I'm going to want to put on my light color first. And I've chosen uh, in this version to put all the materials I've got my hook point up and I'm putting all my materials above the plane of the hook. Um, I, w I would say I'm still uh, on the learning curve uh, of, of tying and using this fly. I use this as a cast fly for albacore out uh, in the ocean off Pacific City this year. Um, now, unlike the, fly, the first batch of flies I tied and fished, uh, these do ride hook point up. Uh, they do ride basically true. Although I will say you need to experiment a little bit. Um, uh, these, I think there's something about the, the way the, the head sits on the hook that is uh, really important to um, excuse me. It's really important to try to achieve some symmetry and balance in how you're doing it. Uh, the advantage of using this head over. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm putting on some uh, flat, some pearl flat braid. This is a lavender pearl flat braid, just to kind of finish that bucktail off. And then I'm going to put some UV cure over the top. And I will say that the, the finished job I've done on this fly is, uh, is not my best. Um, the advantage of using a fly like this rather than just a fly with dumbbells, it, it, it does, it, it gives you a different look. It's a more streamlined look. It's a less bug-eyed look. And I will tell you, uh, you know, when you tie a causer, the, the, uh, the dumbbells, the bead chain, the barbell eyes are uh, a little bit back from the eye of the hook. And that's necessary the way you tie your fly. 
with these tungsten jiggy heads, man, that weight is right in the front. And so the jigging action of, th of these flies is very pronounced and uh, very, uh, I think, very attractive to, to many species. It's something you don't miss. It's not subtle. Um, so I think here comes some UV current. And you could use a hard, you could use a flex. Um, the later versions of, the f of this fly, when I do a better job of stabilizing the head on the hook shank, I don't wind up with that significant gap. I will also say that when you have big fish chewing on this fly, um, that head, I haven't found a way to keep that head from coming loose unless I'm using a size that I can fit over the eye of the hook after the fly is tied and then I just jam it on there, super glue it on from the front and that thing, when I can do that, that thing stays put without a question. So here's a fly, has a tremendous potential as a as a bait fish imitation with a lot of action, uh, I'd encourage you to give it a try, work with it, fish it, and have some fun. Thank you for joining us today.